In this video, we're going to learn about CMake. Uh, this is the build system for C and C++. Uh, it's, it is much easier to maintain than a bunch of make files. Uh, it's like industry standard, um, so it's good to know about it. Uh, in this video, it's going to be a quick tutorial, uh, so let's go and do it. All right, so we're in this empty directory. Um, let's create the source directory. Uh, in here, in source directory, let's write a small file. Uh, let's say you know the usual thing um, say hello world okay all right now we have a file um, now let's create the CMake CMake list for it um, so you can imagine CMake lists being as just like you know the the set of rules, this, those files that uh, describe the rules, um, similar to basically to make files, you know. Uh, and here, there's a couple things that are required, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so, first, we need to write the project name. Uh, let's say this is a YouTube tutorial, right? Uh, another thing we should we have to do is uh, minimum, minimum uh, required. Uh, it's to define that you know what our version is because the problem is uh, different version of CMakes uh, they're not always backward compatible so like you know if you have a new rule or anything let's say you clone the project on github uh, and whoever wrote the project might assume that you want a certain version of CMake um, <clears throat> and then unfortunately you don't have that version locally right so the behavior will be different so it's very good to put this rule to say hey listen I was writing on this version so you can just like uh, let's say look at your version and say okay that's the minimum required version that you want to ship um, okay so now we want to set the target um, let's say uh, let's add our executable yeah in this case uh, execute executable uh, okay so let's name it lovely program and our source file, uh, B, right? So that's it, so we have three lines. Two of them are unfortunately necessary, and one important line is this. Basically, name of the program and the source. So now, <coughs> we in the source directory, so let's say now we go to the, create the build directory. Now we go inside a build directory, uh, then we run the following source. The CMake, here you go. It generated a bunch of uh, like make files, there's some sort of caching. Um, so, all we have to do now is just run make. That's it. There you go. We can run our hello world. This is a very simple application. Uh, for, let's try to make it a little bit more advanced. Um, let's, let's add libraries to it, right? Um, let's say. Now, uh, let's see, let's add this class, uh, the file called hello. Um, in here, uh, let's write void, void now. What's going on? Void. Hello is our function. Let's declare this function and then, you now let's be good citizens and add the rules. Uh, I hope you guys know what that is. Um, is it called the include guards? If you don't know, uh, you can Google that. Um, so now let's add the source and de uh, define our function. Uh, Say, say hello, hi, right? Yeah. Okay, um, now we have to add the video stream include for this. There you go. Um, oh, why did I do that? Uh, let's see. So we have a uh, hello.hpp declaration. Now we have source definition. Now let's say our main will call that 
file uh, that function. Okay, say hello. Okay, so now we have a main that calls hello. The hello is defined, uh, declared here. Then define source. Okay, so everything should work, right? All right, but now we have to change the semic rules. Okay, so a couple of things change here, right? <coughs> we have this new files, hello, hello. Um, I mean, <coughs> of course, the one way to go about it is just to add this guy here and happy days. Uh, but we want to create a new library. Um, actually, even adding the hello.cpp here by itself wouldn't work because we, when we include it, uh, hmm. Wait, hold on, I have to include this guy here as well. HPP. Okay. Um, yeah, so when we include our header, uh, yeah, we use this angle brackets, so that means it's going to look at the include directory path. So what the first thing we have to do is to say uh, to add that path, the current path, to the to add the include directory rule. So we have to say include directories and let's make current source tier. Um, yeah, so the CMake populates directory basically to tell you what's your current source directory. Um, so we have to tell it. Um, so this technically would work, and it should work, because really we just added hello CPP here. Let's see. Uh, let's go back to our build. Let's run again. Um, source. There you go. Love the pro. pro uh, no, that didn't work. Why it didn't work? We'll screw something up. Uh, this. Here you go. Hello, hi. Ah, uh, I'm surprised. Did we forget to build at that time? Oh, right. You see, when I did CMake, and I did the configuration, I forgot to make it here. So don't forget to build as well because you need two commands. You need CMake to regenerate your files and then you have to also run make. So I forgot to run make. That's why we had the previous um, output. All right, so we have a hello, hi. Now let's go back to the source. Um, so the problem with this approach, right? It's kind of janky that we put it uh, hello. I mean, most of the time we're probably fine. Um, but in reality, in real projects, you know, this is probably a library we live somewhere else, right? So let's assume that there is a library. Let's build it as a library. Um, let's just change the string this, this time. So we know that it works. Hello, hi, from the library. Okay. Mm. So let's see now, um, let's create a library for this. At library, uh, lovely library, let's say. Library. Hello, that uh, CPP. This is going to be our library. Uh, we want to remove this guy from here. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, a couple of things, right? So, now that we have our library and we have our executable, one thing is left is to link our library to our executable right so let's say target link library libraries and then lovely program and uh, you want to link to it library library there you go um so this is enough to build the our executable and link the library to it uh, i just want to show you one good thing that you always should follow problem is we reuse this uh, i love the program variable at the same time. So you probably, I think it's it's a good style to define a target to it. So like this, for example, lovely program. And then later on, use a target name. It's just a style that I notice uh, used in a uh, lot of CMake files. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, I mean, the similar thing they do with the libraries as well. Yeah, you can like define the variable for them. Um, let's see. Okay, so now let's go back to the build directory. Uh, let's run the CMake again. And this time, let's not forget to run make. There you go. Uh, let's run it. Boom. Hello, hot from library. All right, this time we build a uh, executable with the library. Let me show you one more time. CMake list. There you go. That's all it took to do that. All right, um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.